Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back to my garage. All right, so let's just get started right away. Um, I, what I want to do this episode is just get this running enough to where we can, uh, basically, I want to go try out the uh, pizza delivery, uh, see how much we get paid. Um, it's really hard to tell. I can't even think of what we'd get paid because it's hard to say, really. I mean, real life, you're probably not getting paid that much, right? 10 bucks, if that, 5 bucks uh, per deliver delivery. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get this puppy road ready. Um, we definitely need to do the suspension, it appears. Uh, we don't have to do the back right away, but I might do it anyhow. Uh, let's see how the engine looks. So, bad air filter, battery, looks like the head's pretty shot. Uh, we got some bad hoses. Fluids are probably low. We'll go ahead and flush all the fluids out. Um, get new fluids, get new brakes, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get our jack here. And start on the rear end here. Uh, what's going to be the best way to get in? Let's see if we can see where a subframe is or the frame. Um... Well, the rear end looks like it needs replaced. So we might have to try to get the whole back end jacked up. And then uh, just do the whole rear end. Well, so there's a nice flat panel right here. Uh, appears to be pretty low. Solid. So where's our exhaust? Exhaust is not in the middle, so I'm just going to try to get this as in the middle as possible. Uh, that looks like it would work. Uh, maybe not. It's a little off, I think. Okay, so it's going to go on the bumper. We just have to... Oh, well, it does take the whole... It brings the whole thing up, so that's good. Um, let's see, where's our wrench? And let's go ahead and start taking this apart. I would like to definitely get a new rear end. Um, what else was that? So it looks like one shock absorber. Uh, the spring looks pretty shot. Well, let's go ahead and start taking it off. Let's get this brake line. Um, we should probably take the tires off first. That would probably make most sense. I get it all. No. Right. So tires are off. Let's take a look here. This caliper looks good, um, but we're going to want to take off the brakes anyway. Just put new brakes on it. Uh, what do we need? I think it's a screwdriver. Yeah. Uh, well, first we need to take the caliper off. Go and there we go. And that'll actually take the brake line off as well. Now oh, the pads look pretty good. Might probably just get new ones anyway, and then um, you know, all right. Well, this uh, hub looks pretty bad. Get this puppy off. Perhaps. Did I miss one? Yep. Oh, yeah. That hub's pretty trash. We'll put the bad parts over here. We'll kind of set the good parts over there. Uh, where is my spring compressor? There we go. Let's get this off. Oops. So, spring compressor's junk. Uh, let's get off these, what are these, like, control, uh, or something, there's a brake line. What is this called? Oh, yeah, it is a control arm. Let's see, so, uh, we got our flashlight, I forgot about that. Uh, we'll get this other one here. There we go. 
that's the upper. But let's see, this doesn't look connected. So I think we got everything on this side. Uh, let's go ahead and remove the diff, or we'll probably do that last. So this can kind of hold everything up and then we'll take that off and pull it off. All right, let's get this side now. Start with this brake caliper. We're just, since it's all good, we're just gonna take the whole, oops, the whole thing. Oh, it's because of my wrench, no. How's the brakes on this one? So these ain't too bad either. Uh, let's get that hub off, or not the hub, but the, the rotor. What does he call this? Brake disc, yeah. Oh, this is a nice hub. It's a little shaky. Oh my god, I think my, uh, I think my jack is struggling a little bit. I really like some jack stands. I might have to install some mods. I've actually never played with mods before, so right now everything is completely vanilla. Let's get this uh, spring compressor real quick here. There we go. So everything's looking pretty good on this side so far, um, except for this stabilizer bar. Is that called? It's a control arm as well. This one off. Oh, don't don't do that. Uh, where's that puppy hooked in? It? Let's get the shock absorber off, so we can see what the heck we're dealing with. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. Thank you very much. And this bottom control arm. There we go. Oh, man, it just fell right off. Well, I guess I could have talked, took the diff off. Uh, let's get this other brake line off. And this will be bad part. Oh, what is that? The handbrake. That's right. Oh, yeah, this thing's pretty garbage. Yeah, let's get that diff off. There we go. This looks good. All right, so rear end. I don't think there's any other parts on here. Nope. We're gonna put this piece of junk over there. Uh, handbrake looks like a rear. Yep, just a regular rear shock absorber. A hub four and a spring. Let's see if I can remember all of that going in here. So we got a coop. Yep, coop lad. A lad coop. Let's get the suspension. Um, was any of those control arms bad, actually? No. It's like all the control arms were good. Okay. Okay, let's see. What do we got? A uh, handbrake? No. We needed a hub R. Indeed. Uh, we needed a rear shock absorber and a rear spring. These all look good. Uh, where is... Well, I guess that would be in here. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> and brake. Um, I didn't see the main line. I think all the rotors were good. The calipers were definitely good. Um, let's go ahead and buy a box of brakes. And that should be it. Oops, everything's up here. Okay, we'll start with this. Oh, no, we need to get... Actually, let's get that uh, <laughs> the rear axle. And Of course, I forgot. The most important part. Uh, rear axle, there we go. All right. Uh, let's see what this puppy's worth after I took everything off. 39, I should have checked it at the beginning of the video uh, to see how much it was worth now. Uh, let's see, we could actually assemble a lot of this on the ground, so let's do that. 
Yep, there's our two axles. Let's go ahead and slap them in there. Yep, stay still. There we go. This one here. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab the differential. Uh, what kind of diff is that? It's a 3.8 lot. Okay, well, I don't know much about differentials at all, at least definitely with the numbers. Um, but I do know locked. That usually is like a... Uh, uh, where the both both the tires spin at equal uh, speeds and basically together in tandem so you can uh, do a perfect burnout okay let's see what else should go on here probably nothing we can just go ahead and attach it now yeah let's just go ahead and attach it or do I need to put I don't even know if I have to put something on first I uh, nope there we go just tighten up the uh yep Nope. Get together. Well, that don't look very good. Doesn't look like it's sitting well. Yeah, let's go to the other side. And get these last bolts right there. Yep. Okay, that should be it. Yeah, that does not look like it's sitting well. I hope once we put the control arms and stuff on, it'll fit a little bit better. Uh, where was that one? Oops. Okay. Okay. Still kind of broken looking. Uh, let's get this side on. Okay. Uh, and we'll get this little baby control arm on. Oh, where was it? There we go. And where the hell did it go? Uh, excuse me. Did you pop up into the trunk? Let's get this other side on. And we'll find it in a second. There we go. Uh, there's a little tiny one. Oh. There it is. That other one, I think, probably popped into the trunk. Um, shock absorber. I feel like I'm missing control arm over here. Uh, definitely am not actually. <clears throat> Let's see. One. Oh, there we go. Oh, it went onto the wrong side. I see. One, two, and one, two. Okay, now that's enough. And then this cross one is like an independent. Uh, what you call? Okay, let's go ahead and get this. Springs in. Nope. Let's go ahead and get the. Yeah, let's get the springs in. I think we'd probably do springs next. Oops. And then we'll do the shock absorbers. Uh, yeah. I'm just not smart. Okay, there we go. Where's my wrench? Right, let's get the shock absorber real quick. Oh, there's the wrench, okay. There we go. And where'd that puppy go? I just saw it standing up. I thought I just saw my... Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, there it is. And the one in the back. And this one now. Oopsie. Where's the bolt? There we go. Okay, we could probably slap on the rotor. Indeed, we can. That shock. There we go. So, in the last one, I noticed I couldn't just take new parts down to the pawn shop. Uh, but I do wonder if he takes old parts. Or more than, like, the trash can gives you. You know what I mean? Okay, let's get this tire on. Nope, we need the brakes first. Uh, I didn't even do the pads yet. Um, I think I need a pry bar. Pry tool. 
All right, there we go. Now let's get the new pads. Oh, I forgot the handbrake line. Uh, one, oops, one, two. Oops, check in, check. There we go. Let's go ahead and slap this, but that one doesn't look like it's really that straight. There we go. Oops. Make sure those are tight. And bang, bang, and boom. Go ahead and drop this. There we go. And I forgot the fry tool over here. Come on. There we go. So this will be all the brakes done. Well, not all the brakes, uh, just the rear brakes and not even all the rear brakes because they still have the handbrake to put on, which is definitely a rear brake. Okay. Let's see. Check. Where's my wrench at? And uh Oh, it's starting to, I need to get these tires on as soon as possible. Uh, there we go. These should all be tight. Okay, let's grab one of these. Oh, grief. Uh, that actually works. Oh, nope, it doesn't. Okay. Stay there. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, maybe this other side. Hold on. Yep, and that's why jack stands, ladies and gentlemen, are your best friend when working on a car, because... Accidents happen, and it's not worth your life. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so let's get some jack stands in this game, please. Uh, let's go ahead and slap it right here on the end. Uh, actually, we're going to just put it over here on the right. It could go right under the... Yeah, this would be perfect. Uh, pick up the tire, please. Okay, and my wrench. All right, fantastic. And these tires actually look good on both sides. So that's great. Um, The brake line. There we go. Let's get this on real quick while we still have it up in the air. Uh, there we go. And where the hell is the bolt? Uh, it's going to be behind here, isn't it? Looked right to the, um... Yeah, right there, look. Oh, do I have my wrench on me? Yeah, I do. Oh, no. There we go. And there we go. Perfect. Uh, okay, let's see what... Yeah, that transmission looks... Absolutely... Fantastic. Okay. So great transmission, exhaust looks fantastic. Go ahead and drop the jack. And now let's go jack up the front. Okay, let's see, where do we want to stick this? Probably right on the cross member. Right here. Uh, maybe not. It's pretty icy. What am I on? Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Um, yeah, this cross member is kind of slippery. Hmm. I think we could just put it on the bumper. Horrible idea, by the way. I'd never do that. Uh, I'm going to try the cross member one more time. Nope. This might work. And it definitely does not. Okay. Okay. So right on the bumper, I assume. Yeah. Or not the bumper, but the, just the front end of the car, basically. Oh, that's super, super unsafe. 
Uh, we're going to kind of use this as a jack stand, I think. Which I guess, technically, if I just bought a bunch of these, it would be like I had jack stands. Um, let's get under, though. We're going to put it right under the sub uh, the frame here. Oops, stay down on the ground. Uh, it looks like a good distance. Let's see. It is... Actually... Oh, look, it's staying up. So we're going to put this on the other side of the frame here. We could probably just go right underneath. Let's see. Yep, all right. I want both of them kind of supporting it, so... Yeah, yeah. Okay, that works perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a wrench and start taking the tires off and getting a good look at uh, what we got going on under this front end here. Um, you know what, I'm going to save real quick because I've been trying to record this several times now and it keeps crashing on me. Okay, and well, speak of the devil, it actually just crashed. Uh, so I don't even know where the heck we were. Um, where am I? Oh, thank God. Why is this sagging? Did I forget to put springs in or something? It looks really low. Oh, it's because I got it on jacks. Well, I am smart. Okay, anyway, where was I? I have no clue. It looks like I was on the front, so let's sleep. And see where I... Oh, I didn't even get the front tires off yet. Damn it. Okay. Well, I did have this whole front end done, <laughs> so uh, let's go through it again. Okay, let's get these tires off. Wait, I didn't do them yet, right? Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, let me just go ahead and get the parts actually first. Uh, since I already know what they are, well, I won't spoil it. Let's just get the tires off and we can see what's going on under here first. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what's causing the crashing. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really give me any indication of what it is. I don't know if it's OBS, if it's the game, uh, or if it's the stupid freaking AMD software, adrenaline software. Hard to say. Okay, so this caliper is bad, uh, but the line is good. Spoiler alert. The brake line over here is fine. Yeah, uh, no, it's not. It's broken. That's what I mean. So, never mind. I didn't spoil nothing. I lied. Okay. So, what we're going to do, though, is swap these off. Because this is a bad caliber and a bad line. So, we'll get those as a bonus pack. Um, yeah. Let's get this rolled over there you go okay you tighten thank you okay let's get back over here uh hub is actually great i believe this spring yep this spring is jacked so let's get the spring compressor so we got a full brake system and a spring front right well front right uh, caliper anyway okay and this side is the bad lower control arm so let's get this done there we go nope we got to take off the shock absorber and there we go that spring is good oh, there goes the spring but it is good and that should do her. Uh, I think there was a bad tie rod. Hold on. Yeah, right here. And a bad tie. Okay, so let's go get the parts real quick. Uh, yeah, we'll just set that here. So, we need... We'll start with the brakes. Let's put this back onto the lad. We'll do a brake line. Uh, front right brake. Uh, we're going to get some more new pads. Um, I got to check the brake line and the master cylinder. 
Uh, but on this side, we needed a lower left front control. Uh, we needed a front spring. I think both shock absorbers are actually fine. There's the tie rod. And I think that is it. Let's see. So we're actually going to put all this into our bag and we will bring it all out and here we go there we go fantastic we'll start with the control arm first there we go tight tight and there we are don't forget the shock absorber uh, there it is. Okay, fantastic. And where's the spring compressor? Let's get this on real fast. All right. And next, let's get the pry bar because we need to put the brake pads in. So we'll get these out. Uh, maybe. There we go. And... Uh, let's get this tie rod. Nope, let's get this, uh, get the brake pads into the thing. So one, two here. One, two here. The ones on the left. I uh, don't need that. One, two. Let's go ahead and stick it on. Tight. There we go. And there we go. Quick save. Fantastic. Um, these are the next brakes. So one, two. We're just going to put it on first and then we'll put the uh, line on. Uh, one and two. There we go. Uh, where's the brake line? It's just right here. Perfect. And, oh, that's the bad one. Nope, get that back tight. Yeah, that was the bad line. Where's the good line? It was just sitting here. I probably kicked it. Um, yeah, it was sitting right here. Oh, it's still there, actually. It's just behind the tie rod. There we go. All right, let's get this on here. Where is it? Click, tight, and tight. Fantastic. Uh, can we see the brake lines? I'll we'll have to look up top, I think. Um, next up is the tie rod. Check, and check. Okay. Uh, what are we missing from the front end? Uh, we got both springs. Nope, we're missing this side's uh, spring, so... Where did that go? I got too bad. Right? Oh, there it is. Okay. And check. Okay. So that should be everything on the front. Uh, why is this thing shaking so much? Forget to tighten something down. No. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, let's get the, we got the brake pads, the brakes, lines, control arms. Yep, that should do the whole front end. Okay, so while we're down here, let's look at a couple things. Um, transmission does look great, even though it's a little shaky. Exhaust looks great. Headers look fantastic. All right, let's go ahead. And, oops, let's go ahead and drain the oil. I'm gonna put fresh oil in. Um, I thought you could drain the uh, radiator, but I don't see a plug on here. So we're just gonna take it off the hose. Uh, maybe. I was hoping I could see it from down here, but oh, there it is. Look. It's like way at the top. 
Can I go higher? Nope. So we'll have to get that from the top. Okay, there's nothing really down here that we can take off. Uh, but what we can do, since we, we already drained the oil, let's get this plug back on. Before I lose it. Go. Okay, and let's go ahead and just take off this oil pan. Um, should I do that? Or should I cheat? Because you could cheat uh, by just sticking your head through the engine block. Uh, starter looks good. Okay, well, I think we can get the tires on and drop it. Uh, oh, yeah, the brake line. It looks shiny from back here. And the master cylinder, uh, I think it looks good as well. So let's get the tires on. Two, three, four. And two. Why do I feel like... I feel like this game used to have um, five bolt patterns, uh, but yeah, let's get this one down first. A five nut pattern on the rims, but it seems like I've only been seeing them with the four. Is this one tight already? I did do it. Did I even tighten this side? Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's good. Let's go ahead and drop it. Get the jack out. Uh, let's see, how does she sit? Looks even. How about the back? Looks good. Did that axle and uh, diff ever get itself straightened out? Um, let me peek through. It uh, looks like it kind of did. It looks a little, little bit separated, but not too bad. Okay, good. So the rear end, or the whole bottom end is good. Um, we drain the oil. Let's go ahead and get these, this engine up to par. Uh, so first we are going to start with the radiator hose. This is just a lower, yep, just a lower hose. Let's go ahead and pop our heads up. Uh, let's get working on the air filter. So the lid's good. The lid. Um, the top is good. Actually, the air filter looks good. So this will go in our semi-okay parts pile. Um, the bottom of the air filter sucks really bad. As just jimmy would say is garbage okay so where is well we need a bottom the lid was good that's what i said right where did i put that damn lid i better stick these parts a little bit separate so a filter so far and the bottom of uh the thingamabob okay get a better look at this brake thing real quick it looks fantastic okay um Ignition wires look good. The ignition coil looks good. The starter on the other side looked good. Uh, this top hose actually does look good. Let's take a look into the sole. Just kidding, the uh, radiator. Yeah, so taking off the hose doesn't actually drain it. It's quite interesting. Carb looks bad. Uh, what time is it? Oh, we just got a huge cloud over top of us. Okay. Okay, yeah, the carb is definitely on the fritz. So, where's my wrench? There it is. The wires are bad. I saw that. So, let's get these wires off. There we go. Then we should have one on the frame. Right there, oh, the battery is telling me to get out. Oh, oh, wish I could throw things a little bit better. Uh, take the wire off the starter, this other side, and then we should have one just right here. Oh, that's a fuel line. Does that fuel line look good? Let's take it off and see. Yeah, I think that looks good, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good fuel line. We'll put that back on. And we need to take it off the top. Oops, did I get it? 
I don't know if that was the right hole. Uh, yeah, I don't think it was. Let's see, where is it? Hook to it at. So, oh, this one, no? Oh, the freaking alternator, and I'm an idiot. Okay, let's get this out of here. So we definitely need a new wire harness. Not keeping track of everything very well. So, wire harness. Um, let's get these junk parts over here that were already replaced. This is garbage. About these brake pads. It's a good pad, and this one is garbage. Okay, so then we also had this hose here. So I'm just going to put everything for this car that's bad, or for the job that we're doing right now. Not the job, but you know what I mean. Like, the task at hand is this front end, so we're going to put all these parts together so I know what's going on. Okay, so I got all the parts cleaned up. Uh, let's get back in here. Uh, we definitely want to take off the carburetor. I'm just kind of seeing. Fan looks fine. Alternator does look great. So yeah, let's just get this top end off. Okay, there's the carb. Uh, let's go ahead and get this header off. Uh, this whole exhaust is going to come off. This one has a lot of bolts on it. Okay. Oh, this actually, that's two different parts. But I do need them both off, so... There we go. And there we go. Uh, radiate tour. Uh, upper hose is good. Um, I think I'm going to try to dump out the radiator. Once we get this all off. There we go. There the valve freaking cover. Okay, what do we got in here? I feel like this hood is in my bloody way. So we are going to take it off. Yeah. Take it off. Okay, let's see. Well... <laughs> This hose is a little bit annoying, isn't it? Uh -huh. Okay, I don't think we need to take that off. Uh, this looks good. The belt on the other hand for the timing. Is that good or bad? I can't really tell. I think it's bad, even though it's extremely shiny. So we'll stick this here. Uh, come back. Come back to me. Oh yeah, this is a lot easier to work on. Okay. Or not. Hold on a second. Okay, they're gonna mouse wheel down. Yep, I guess I'll just have to take off the valve lifters here. Cams. What are they called? Oh, I gotta take that off too. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's good. No bolts there, no bolts there. Okay. Actually, yeah, let's take this off before we take off the head. And dos uno. Perfecto. 
Now we could finish taking off the rest of the head. Did I drop my wrench? No. Why can't I unloosen that? Uh, it's already loose. Okay. Uh, is that everything? Looks like it. Nope. That was it. And this still has the water pump on it. We actually have two good spark plugs. Uh, those other two actually aren't really that bad. Um, you know, we might have to do a little bit of shopping when we go to town for some more, uh, like a bench. I need a bench in here. Uh, I'll probably just get new spark plugs anyway, but I will take those off and save them for a future, uh, future car. Let's take the water pump off. Oh, where did it go? Oh, what are you doing? Thank you for not losing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, those are nice spark plugs. So we're going to get our spark plug socket. And I'm taking these out. Uh, does this one have a box? No. Okay. How do we get you out now? Okay, I ain't messing with it. I'll mess it with it later. Uh, let's see how the pistons look. Oh, we definitely need a new head gasket. All right, the pistons actually look really good. Uh, how's the crankshaft? The belt looks good, so that's fantastic. Distributor looks great. Um, I don't know if this looks good or not. I mean... It looks like some cheap ass metal or something's wrong with it. Uh, let's see. Where is my wrench? Come to me. Okay. Just want to get a glimpse at. Oh, that thing's shiny. Look how shiny the uh, crankshaft is. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm assuming this is a good part. Um. Definitely a bad mold. Uh, whatever company built it. Okay, there we go. Tight. We determined the... Yep, alternator looks great, even though the bolt kind of doesn't. Let's go ahead and get our parts. 1,200. Oh, well, we got 1,000 bucks left. So we'll start with the head. And the... Uh, what you call here? Head gasket. Um, wires, okay, this is a lot to remember, actually not too bad, so we'll just start with that head, spark plugs, and the head gasket, and go from there. So this is the little four-cylinder. Uh, let's go to the inline four engine. We don't need a belt, but we do need a bottom. We're going to get a new air filter just because. A new battery. We'll get the new carb. I uh, didn't look at the clutch plates behind the transmission. Cylinder head. Here's the one that we need. No, it is not. Wait, yeah, that's the one we need. Yep, the block is actually fine. Okay. Headers are good. I don't know about the fly wheel. I never checked the gas tank yet. Uh, we do need that, and we do need a lower hose. Um, I should probably put a brand new oil filter on. Uh, we haven't tried to drain the oil ch uh, oil yet. Um, timing chain. Now it's all gray like it's old. Uh, but it's shiny like it's new, so I'm not too sure, but we're just going to go ahead and get some new, a new timing chain, and I think I don't need these, um, but I'm going to buy them because it's probably a good idea, so we'll get the wires main as well. Uh, the water pump did look good. Um, turbos, eh? And that's the block what is that 1.8 what was this block up here 1.5 oh 
what do we have? Probably the 1.5, right? Yeah. We get the crappy engine. How much is it worth? Okay, we're going down, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get it started. Yeah, we got a big pile here. Let's go ahead and start loading her up. I can't take that. I guess my thing is full. We'll go ahead and put the head on first. Nope, we need the head gasket first, which we do have. Beautiful head gasket. And we will put that head on. 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 And let's get this thing tightened up. Um, we got to put her bag away. Now, if you didn't know, there's actually a special pattern uh, for each head that you put on for each car. Like, there's a one, two, three pattern, um, and you're supposed to follow it, and each one of these bolts uh, does need to be torqued down with a torque wrench so you know exactly how much force you're putting on them, and you have to stop it at an, uh, a specified force. So don't think you can just slap a new head gasket in there. You're going to have to pick up a couple things. Anyway, there we go. And there's the last one. Uh, timing chain. Did we pick that up? We did. I don't know if I can pick that up with the wrench, so... And does this timing chain look the same? Yeah, it does. Where's that other one at? Yeah, that looks the same. So we will keep that timing chain, but we'll put the new one on our car. So put that timing chain there. Um, this is the garbage. You know, I was thinking about keeping like a pile for parts that would actually make a car run, uh, even though they're worn out like these, versus parts that are like these, where they're just completely trash, right? Okay, so what's next? Uh, I don't think there is anything else that goes in here. So we should be able to put the cover back on. Uh, what else do we have over here that I didn't pick up yet? Uh, we have uh, the oil filter, the hose, and the carburetor. Okay. We can go ahead and not put that on yet, but we'll stick this over here with them. Uh, the oil filter, yes. I do want to put that on right away. Uh, do you need a wrench, or can you pull this thing off by hand? By hand, okay. Uh, this oil filter does look decent, so we will actually reuse that at some point. Uh, but we're going to put a new filter on this car. Okay. And what else do we have in here? We've got our lower hose. Our wires main. The new air filter, the air filter housing, uh, we did get some new wires and a battery. Since we got those new wires, we will put these on the shelf as well. Okay, and the wires main are trash, so we got that. We got the battery, we got the lower hose, and the fan uh, doodle thing. Uh, let's go ahead and get the timing cover on, wrench that puppy down, now the cover doesn't really matter, uh, your car will run without the cover even on, uh, definitely not uh, advisable as you could get dust and dirt in there and clog up, bust your valves right up, okay let's go ahead and get these exhausts on, uh, I think the smaller one goes on the bottom, Actually, the bigger one does, so we'll put this one on first. And then we'll put that one on. Now let's get the carburetor. Yep. New carb. And uno mas. Fantastic. Uh, we can go ahead and slap this on since we're already here. We'll get the new filter. And 
since I got that filter, um, oops, that's not what I was trying to do. Yeah, that still looks pretty dang good. So we're going to keep this for a future car, right? These parts might come in handy at some point. Um, put the top back on here. Come on. There we go. Okay, what else do we got? The water pump, of course. Um, before we put those in, I do want to take off this radiator real quick. And I think it's just those two, yeah. So there we go. Sit up. Thank you. I wanted to see something here. First, we're going to just kind of stand it up. I wanted to, well, let's get this lid off. Let's see if we could dump this out. Okay, good. It seems like it is empty. Uh, you know, I just thought though I don't. Oh, I did. I did get coolant. Okay, good. And oil. Let's put that on. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab the lower hose that we just bought. It goes on that side. Tight, and let's grab this upper hose. Uh, we don't want to lose the cap, so let's stick that back on real quick. Of course, the battery um, was on which side was it? Up here. Uh, does this actually bolt in? Uh, I don't think so. Usually there is a little metal piece um, that kind of holds your, hold your thing in. Uh, nothing else on the engine, I don't think. Oh yeah, we do actually, the water pump. Oh, there we go. And God, there should be another one down below the fan. Right? Yep, there it is, okay. Let's see. Uh, we could definitely put this back on. Big old crazy thing. <laughs> Put your head in there, please. Or not. Uh, hold on. Uh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Or not. Or not. Um. Oh yeah, it just hooks up here. I thought it bolted down here too, though. Let me see. Yeah, it definitely does, yeah. Um. Oh. Interesting. Oh, right, because I took the whole damn thing out. Anywho, let's go ahead and get the wires on. Start with this one here. Uh, we should have actually put the battery in last. And the alternator, and here we go. Okay, that should be all of those. Yeah, I don't think there was anything hooked on over here. Okay, we could go ahead and put the distributor wires on now, which are these ones. Possibly, there we go. Um, let's have a look around. I'm going to clean up some of this, make sure I'm not forgetting anything, which I definitely am forgetting the ignition coil on and on. Yeah, there's nothing that bolts into the top. Okay. Uh, there's the car, but it's actually usable though. Oh, you know what? I never got the spark plugs. Uh, so we need to get the spark plugs. This is, is usable. Just gonna start picking up the tools real quick. Oh, I'm gonna need that spark plug wrench though. Crappy calipers. Um, there's actually some decent pads in here. Let's 
so we'll take those out. That's garbage. Uh, how's the lights are good, so I can't even use this piece. We'll stick this over here. There's the oil and coolant that we'll have to put on. Okay. Let's see, that should be it. Minus the hood. Uh, let's go ahead and put this into the bag. The screwdriver. And this jack. Uh, we could put the hood back on. Oh yeah, uh, let's go buy our, our spark plugs. Yeah, that looks like that's about it. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the spark plugs. Should be right here at the bottom. Oops. Okay. And let's... Uh, where the best place to throw them? Probably just on the floor. And I'm assuming it's just a four pack, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, and let's get the wrench. Oh, we gotta take off our uh, spark plug wires first. Okay. Uh, let's see, I think I also needed to put it in, so. Oops. Or maybe not, maybe I gotta grab them first. Put them in and then tighten them. Then once we get these put in, we will just have to add the fluids uh, and check the tires pressure. Okay, and let's tighten these puppies down. Uh, maybe. There we go. wires please plastic and now all we got to do is take off this cat and this one uh, let's grab the coolant first oh. there we go that actually works pretty good or actually it doesn't. There we go. Filling. Okay. That's pretty good. That's almost the whole bottle. Oops. Why? I don't know. Sometimes it lets me throw and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, oh, I bet it's when I have the wrench in my hand. Anyway, let's go ahead and put this on and grab the oil. Um, two liters? I don't know what that is in quartz. Uh, this one, I think we have to lean forward a bit. All hoses, yeah, everything's on. I got the bolt on the bottom. Oh, there we go, filling. Kind of. There we go. Okay, that was that full bottle. Uh, let's check the stick real quick. So yeah, it looks like it takes four liters or so. Uh, in America here, it uses uh, usually about five quarts, four and a half quarts. Um, we need the other bottle. So this one, maybe we won't put all of it. Stay there. That looks good. Right on the money. I'm not too sure if there's still some in here or not. Uh, so we will keep it just in case. All right, let's get the lid on. The lid, the cap. Um, the brake fluid. 
looks like it could use a little bit, but I don't think I have any of that. Uh, I don't even know if there's... Oh yeah, we drove it here, so there should be gas in it. Uh, let's give it a start and see if it runs. Oh, I felt like I sat down a little bit better. All right. Let's take it for just a little test drive. I don't want to get too crazy. Oh, damn it. Yep, well, I should have uh, known how to re release a clutch. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, mine's third, that's why. Well, come on. There we go. Oh, feels good. Oh, you know what? We forgot to check the tire pressure. Freaking hit that log. Okay. Yeah, I think the tires might be a little bit low. I don't know how you actually check them. I don't think there's like a tire. Um, I don't think there's a tire gauge. Uh, so I think we just have to fill them. But I think I can't remember if this is the one that you could blow your tire up. Hmm. So many questions. Oops. Uh, I think it might have been Mon Bazoo that you can blow it up. So we just want to pump these into a stops, I think. The hell's the damn doohickey? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this one I think you just pump until it stops. Okay. See, this one looks a little low. Indeed. Okay, and I just gotta pump this one. Okay. Awesome. Okay, there we go. Well, it runs. Uh, gotta stick the hood on yet and all that, but... Yep, those are all the brake pads. I think what we'll do in the next one is uh, we're going to take this thing for a little adventure. Um, take all this stuff down to the pawn shop, see if we get if we actually get any money for it. And then do some pizza deliveries. Uh, we also need to stop at the gas station and get the sander. Uh, you know what, maybe we should finish. Let me know if, you, if I should finish this first before we go adventuring. Or should we go adventuring first? Um, because, watch, let's just go ahead and do a test drive to town and grab the disc that we need for uh, grinding out the rust. And then at the beginning of the next episode, I will have that already in hand. And, uh, yeah, we could either do rust, uh, fix the back end, and then uh, go pizza delivering or just go adventuring first so anyway let's get out of here first please all right oh dude it, it drives so good oh sorry sir don't mind me I feel like it's a little bumpy, though. How's our gas? Uh, we're just a little under a half a tank. I don't think we need any yet. And here we are. Uh, what was I coming here for? Shit. Oh, the grinder. Uh, disc. Okay.
Okay. Hello. What the hell is that? Oh, I thought it was like an ant. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, the brakes. Nah. Fluid looked pretty good. Interesting. There's a flashlight. Oh, I never checked the bulbs and stuff either, so that's good to remember. Okay, let's take this. Get it back. Can I take this box with me? No. Um, I think the best place for this is going to be the glove box. Oh no, that's not exactly what I was trying to avoid from happening. Okay, I think I see it. Let me try that again. <laughs> oh, can you not store things in there? I thought that's what it would be perfect for. Yeah, huh. Who knew? So we'll just stick it on the floor. And let's get out here. Sorry, I'm probably just fucking boring you at this point. Uh, there we go. Oh, I should have brought a one bad part to test it for the guy down there. Well guess we'll find out the next video if we will make money from him. Oh, that's still sitting out there. Okay. I do want to be able to come through here and grab that couch. I want to see how much a trailer is, because if we could take that couch with us, uh, we could sleep while we're uh, exploring. Beep, beep. Excuse me, sir. Sir Horn? I don't know. Oh, nope. Oh, yep, nope. Hold on. Oh, come on. Am I not going to be able to get this off the hill? There we go. A little bit easier on the clutch. Yeah, this, the uh, suspension is still very bouncy, so and maybe that's just how this car is, but you'd think it would be a little smoother. Alright, there we go. Temperatures look good. Pressure looks good. Yep. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it. Uh, hope you enjoyed. And I think, yep, the next one, we'll just get right to it and uh, go out exploring. So, or let me know down below if I should fix this rear end or if we should go exploring. All right. Well, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys later.